Let's factor the equation x squared plus 12x minus 28. And the first thing we need to do, we need to set up a skeleton. So this is our skeleton right here. Once we do that, we can add the signs to our skeleton. And I can see I have a positive and a negative here. So if the last term is negative, we're going to put a positive and negative in our skeleton, like this here. Next, what we can do is find the factors for the last term, and they should add up to the middle term. These are the factors for 28. And as I look at these factors, I can see the difference between 2 and 14. That's 12. So I think I'm going to go with 2 and 14. The question is, do we put 2 here or do we put 14 here? We want to have the middle term to be positive. So why don't we put the 14 here and then the 2 here? Then we can check our work with the FOIL method. We multiply the first, outside, inside, and last terms, and that gives us, and we can reduce this down to, and that is the same thing we started out with. So we correctly factored x squared plus 12x minus 28. Let's take a moment to find the values of x that when we put them in the equation here, we'll make this side of the equation zero. So we'll have zero equals zero, a true statement. So we could say x plus 14, that equals zero, Add a negative 14 to both sides, x equals negative 14. Over here, x minus 2 equals 0, so we add a positive 2 to both sides, x equals 2. If you put 2 in for x in this equation here, and you do the math, this will all equal 0. Likewise, if you put negative 14 in for x, and you do the math, all of this will equal 0. So we've done this part correctly. If you use the quadratic equation, you'll get these same numbers here, or you could complete the square, I think, with this one as well. This is Dr. V, factoring the equation x squared plus 12x minus 28. Thanks for watching.